What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you another Casual Gamers weapon review. The weapon we're taking a look at in today's video is the Soul Stealer's Claw. Now before we go any further and more about this weapon, can I just stay? if you guys do enjoy the video and want to see more of these type of videos, do drop a like, let's try and reach 3000 likes, that would be insane if we could and it's a weapon, if there's any weapon you guys want to see me take into that PvP and play with live, let me know what it is, can be something old, can be something new, just let me know down below. But the weapon of today's video is the Soul Stealer's Claw. Now the Soul Stealer's Claw is just another variant of the Doctrine of Passing. Same rate of fire, same impact. Depending on your role, you could get better stability mods of Doctrines, you could get worse. Uh, better range, worse range, it just, it's just, just depends. Now, me personally, I could not get or never have had the Doctrine of Passing. But I knew about the Soul Stealer's Claw and in my opinion it's a lot easier to get because I don't really like playing Trials of Osiris. You get this via a Varix package so to get a Varix package you need to rank up that House of Judgment by doing the Prison of Elders or Challenge of the Elders. Just keep grinding it and you'll eventually get a package and this is exclusive to them packages. And I'll show you the raw mines I've got. My mines got, I've got perfect balance, I was going to say persistence then, I've got perfect balance and persistence. Now I would prefer counterbalance here but still I will take these two stability rolls. I can't really argue, but yes, you can get a better stability roll on this. Um, now, the Soul Series Claw, the Doctrine of Passing, all a part of that high rate of fire, low impact uh, weapon, auto rifle. There's another weapon as well called the Arminous D. This is a gunsmith weapon. Now, if you can't get the Soul Series Claw, you haven't got the Doctrine of Passing, this is probably your best bet. This is from a gunsmith package, so go to the gunsmith. Pick up your packages. If you notice this weapon's there, pick it up. Wait till next week where you can cash it in. If it hasn't got a decent roll on it, just wait until the week after. Uh, mine isn't too bad. I've got terrible range, but it's got decent stability. It's got better stability than my Soul Sealer's Claw. But my Soul Sealer's Claw has got that persistence, so the longer you fire, the more accurate it gets. So in a way it's better, but in a, in a way it's worse. But I do prefer my uh, Soul Sealer's Claw. It's probably harder to handle. I just prefer it for some reason. Uh, but yeah, let's just get straight into the video. And that is what this casual weapon review is, a casual gamer's weapon review is. I am just going to go into a game live and play with it for you guys. Because like I said, you're going to see, you've probably seen a review of this weapon before. In the hands of somebody who's a beast in PvP. I am not a beast in PvP. I am a casual player at best. So you can probably get more of an inkling of what this weapon is like in the hands of myself than in the hands of somebody who's a beast in PvP because you pick this weapon up, you go to PvP and think, well, this ain't working for me like it is for him. So what's going wrong here? That's the point of this video. Now, more about this weapon and these are in-depth stats I've actually researched myself. Uh, this weapon will shoot 15 bullets per second, so it's rate of fire is incredible. It will do 13, body, uh, 13 damage to the body and 16 damage to the head crazy it will empty its entire clip in 4.3 seconds now these are all base standard stats um it's reload time did i just say this 2.4 seconds i don't know if i did it's reload and ads ready time is 2.19 seconds it's damage per second to the body is 195 and it's damage per second to the head is 240 so this thing will drop somebody in easily under a second absolutely insane if you're on target Aim assist is 80, recoil speed, uh, equip speed sorry, is 35 and its recoil direction is a 50. Uh, but let's just get straight into it. Hopefully, I don't get a team of 6 who are just going to completely wreck me. Because I do normally get that sort of thing. I go into a PvP game, trying to record a video, I get absolutely destroyed. But on a, on a side note of you guys watching me use this weapon in PvP being a casual player. If I do really bad with this weapon... You can't really take that into account this weapon being bad. I mean, you could probably do a lot better than I could do this weapon. If I do good with it, then you guys, if you're better than me, you're probably a lot better than me. Oh, we need to start again. Okay. So. Oh, my knife will beat me in the face. So, yeah, you watch me with this weapon, and if I do bad, it doesn't necessarily mean the weapon's completely shit. I mean, you'll hear me rage, you'll hear me bitch, you'll hear me cry. I, that's going to happen a lot. What are you thinking? Well, what the fuck was that guy just using? Because that thing was a beast. Yeah. Die, bitch! Come on, motherfucker. Oh, oh no! Oh, how did I just do that? I just saved myself like an absolute boss. Absolute boss. He's gonna snipe me, any? I shouldn't even be trying to fight him here. I really shouldn't be. He's gonna come around there. He's gonna come around there. What are you hiding in this church for, boy? I will pull out my pipe crusher. And fuck you up. 
I shouldn't really throw my knife there. That's a waste. That's a motherfucking waste. But like you like this one has got an Ashrader recoil. I mean this is not me, I'm not controlling it. That is with my two stability perks. Now you can control it on centre, but it's pretty hard. And when you're getting rushed by somebody, it's pretty difficult. Like I said though, you can get better stability rolls on it. And like a lot of people's drop rings, um, you'll see them a lot of them have that beastly ash rolls on them. Like that, it just drains health and like you shoot somebody with it and they get terrified, you're like, well, what's going on? That weapon, oh shit, oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead, yeah, a lot of people are like, what is that weapon you shoot me with, that's a beast? It's normally a dock ring. Because them things at close range, they will drop you so fast, it's unbelievable. Unfucking believable. I should really be using my sniper. On this. <laughs> I would love a kill cat because I know he was going for that sniper up there. I don't know. My head comes off. That's normally the way. That's normally the fucking way with me. Motherfuckers. Let's have a bit of range. I mean, like it can. I mean, you, you ain't gonna be an accurate pulse rifle. With so many, with even the slightest bit of accuracy from range like that, with a weapon like this, it just ain't gonna happen. They're, they're, all their shots are gonna hit you in the face, but most of yours won't from that range. Ah, oh, got a gun! <laughs> shit! Oh shit! I mean, like I said as well about these casual game reviews, I will play all of them solo, not in a team. Where you into, boy? Where the fuck are you running to? Oh, it's coming for me. Oh, so I got him. I got him. A bit of lag there though. A bit of lag there though. Oh, that's high on bubble. I was playing Mayhem last night and I was playing against a team full of dudes. Who were just fucking tight bowling everywhere and it just wasn't happening. It wasn't happening for us. I mean, like, he's lagging, but you can see how fast it drops people. And like I said, when people see this, you get, you're getting hit with a weapon like this, like, what is that shit? They think about running. They don't think about it, especially at a close range, unless they got a shotgun. They don't think about trying to trade it, yeah. They just don't think about it. Heavy ammo on the way. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead, I don't know what's going on, run away! <laughs> he punched me! Motherfucker's got a dowsy mom! What the fuck is going on? Oh, okay. Normally I pick up heavy and it fucks up my game though completely. I mean like, I'm doing good with a weapon. Well, I'm not doing good, I'm doing half decent. Oh, he just destroyed the whole team on that heavy then. You can't hide around the corner, mate. Yes. Three down! I killed three. What's going on there? I didn't even kill the fucking thingy, I don't even know. I pick up this so just so the other team can't do it. I got five bullets left, this is gonna go bad. This is gonna go really bad. Alright, fuck it. Where the other guy go? Where is he? Where's this fucking ninja? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh. Dude was hiding at the back. Really again? Really? Oh, you know what I want to do? Quickly, if I've got time, if I've got time, I've got my three coins on me. Please, I've got my three coins on me. No, I ain't got my three coins on me. Fuck it. I ain't, I ain't gonna use the gear. Fucking. I can use the app to get it really quick, to be honest. You know, I'm gonna hide and do it because. Not my luck, I'll probably get it. Let's just quickly free. Transfer to Hunter. Badoom. I'll put that in, in a second. Hopefully I don't forget. I would love to see. I would love to see kill cams in this game. I would absolutely love kill cams in this game because that dude just fat me in the ass with that fucking 1,000 yard shitty stare which I haven't Five got so it's shit. Remaining. What the 
fuck is hitting me? Oh, no time to explain. From his bubble. Come on. Come on. Woo! I don't know what's reacting when he's fucking going gun then. I'm running away from he's gonna come for me. Oh shit, my grenade got somebody. Oh! Can I go that way? No, I can't. Hey, go here, go! We got a fucking escape! You know he's coming for me. You know these kids are gonna come for me. Come on, bitch. Come on. Let's go around here. Let's go around here. Let's get a shotgun out, which he has. <laughs> Fuck you! Wow, lag! Wow, lag! I shotgunned him in his mouth and then he punched me after! I bet any money now he got a post mortem for that. I bet you got a post mortem for it. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh! My grenade didn't go off! I got 40 grenades now as well! I got 40 fucking grenades! What is going on? This fucking game! I was doing pretty good now, I'm doing shit. Get back into the action, that's what I need to do. That there's a good head of ours. This Titan's invisible. This Titan is invisible. Victory imminent. Oh, it's victory imminent. Fucking that's what I'll be doing. Oh, come on, kid. You're wasting your shit, yeah? If you would have killed me then, I would have screamed. Because that dude's fucking lagging. Now we'll escape, you know. Titan running through all my motherfucking bullets. Punches me and almost kills me. That should be my kill. I don't know what's going on, there's so many here. That should have hit you in the face, mate. Fuck you. A single victory doesn't win a war, but it's a start. Good work. <laughs> I got a fist of panic. I got a fist of panic. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, like I said, the weapon's actually half decent. I mean, in the hands of somebody who's decent in PvP, it will absolutely tear faces, especially, I like I got 18 kills, 10 deaths, it's a 1.8 kill death ratio. Oh my life! Not bad. Yeah. Oh, it's Luna. That's the fucking beast less weapon. I got one, it's, I love it. I got one. I probably am going to do a review of this uh, casual games review of that weapon. It's pretty badass. But yes, guys, that is the end of another casual games review. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. Tell me down below in that comment section what, guy, uh, what weapon you guys want to see me review next. Thanks again for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Get around.